go into this there. Excuse me, what are you doing out here all by yourself? I'm the soul man. I've been exiled. And they capture a slurper and give it to someone. And what would that someone be the village shaman? Uh, it depends. On what? On whether or not you're the jealous type. <laughs> I have no desire to be the shaman again. Ah, good. Then yes, it's for him. Oh, that poor misguided fool. He's such a fake. Of course he is, but help me all the same. A slurper is best captured using the sound of music. Julie Andrews impersonations is all I can do. A pity. I suggest you try finding an instrument and pleasing one of the slurper's ears. Any clues to what that might be? The sound that carries on the winds of harmony will charm a savage slurper. Hmm, how to find a, f a magical instrument. You said it carries on the, the wind or something? Ow. It's not like a flute. Ooh, agility. Like, literally? Isn't that just like a flute? I guess maybe it's a flute. Alright, so I'm looking for a flute then. Oh, tits. Shit, fuck. Ah, uh, dead. Or up here. Sells like weapons and shit, eh? Aha. I can. Empty bottles. I'll buy a flute. And. Ah, oh shit, I don't have enough. Okay, well, I can play a note. I need your advice. I'll give you some free advice. Go crawl up your own ass! You really need to relax. Why are you so angry all the time? Why am I angry? Because I got the stinking fish on my bed. <laughs> Cast the fish. We removed the fish for you. I can't, it'll explode. What? Who told you that? Who do you think? The fisherman. Right. Looks like the fisherman likes a good joke. Tell you what, I'll get rid of the fish for you. Warn you, man. Oh, man, that stinks. Man, you stink. You got rotten fish all over you. Shit. Eric, <laughs> you stink. Am I fucked now? Because I decided to pick up that stupid fish. Dare offend my nostrils. Get out. Shit. Well, how do I get clean then? Hey, lady. Son, you need to take a bath. Well, I don't even know how to take a bath. Turn the wine into vinegar with that stink. Hello. She bathe more quick, more frequently. Stink -oo. Oh. No one wants to talk to me now because I fucking touched a fish. Lady. Fish. Got any more? No, but if you wash my clothes, keep the dirty water. Really? Fish is so good for mushrooms. Yes, I know. Ten gold pieces. Cool. Okay. I got this flute to charm the slurpers. Is that enough? You need beat. Something only a soul man can give. The beat? What is that? I'll tell you what. Give me the beat if you can answer this riddle. Another riddle? What's going on here? Born motherless and fatherless into this world without a sin. Roared once I arrived and never spoke again. Isn't it like thunder or some shit? <laughs> this music, what the hell? Thunder. Hooray! There, that wasn't so hard. Here is the beat to play the flute. Thanks, Dipo. Oh. First, if you find a lone slurper. 
Okay, because all of them will chase after you otherwise. Or something. So I need to find one by himself, like this guy. Now let's go see the shaman. There we go. I brought you your slurper. Behold, I have brought you a slurper. Ah, incredible. Uh, that will be the envy of all shamans, not to mention the fact that I can terrorize all the villagers. <laughs> what do you do with the slurper is up to you. It isn't yours yet. Ah, yes, the little matter of your lost lady, Stella. Is that her name? Yes, yeah, Stella Maidenhead. I will help you find her. Would that blue object take her? That I don't know, but this I do. Journey to the land of puns and find a fairy. A fairy? Are you kidding me, right? No, his name is Nuff. He'll tell you where Stella is. How do I find this fairy, Nuff? You are tr you are an adventurer. You work it out. Now hand over the slurper. Fair enough. Here, you'll need this flute. That's a good slurper. Now come to Papa Shaman. Can I go down here now? Okay, cool. So now I'm to go to the land of puns, am I? Okay, that's a gigantic bunny creature. I'm gonna leave that alone. Oh, cool. And also that's a cave. Ah! Magic potions! A bronze throwing star. So like... Oh, cool. So I can like do damage now. Good to know. Can I kill that thing? Die, bunny. What's up, Doc? Shit. Ow. <laughs> Shit. Oh, hello. There's a shack with a door that's not quite on it. Oh. Hello there. Pleased to meet you. Uh, greet you. Who are you? Hugh Longpig. Dink <laughs> Smallwood, what is it you're doing here? Ah, well, you could say I'm a hunter of sorts. You have a large number of skulls there, I see. A magnificent collection, don't you agree? Hmm, morbid, but impressive. Care to make a donation? I don't have any spare skulls. Pity, come back when you find a spare one. I'll give you something of value for it. Like what? Add to the vegetable priest's colored head game. Okay, now... Now that doesn't... Hang on, you can't just go ahead and say to someone, I know the answer to the Vegetable Priest's colored head game. And just expect me to know what the hell that fucking means. Weapon salesman there. Oh, this man has ducks. Hello there. Good day to you, sir. Who are you? Bill Waddle, duck farmer. At your service, Mr. Smallwood. Dink Smallwood. Hero and all. Uh, except those villains. Nice to meet you, Dink. Why do you keep your ducks inside? Um, because they'll freeze out in the snow. Is that supposed to be funny? No, it's sarcasm. That's the lowest form of wit. Ooh, aren't you a clever one? You know where fairy enough lives? Fairies don't exist. Okay. What if I just kill your duck? There we go. Same. Well, enjoy your ducks. That's funny. I like this game, but I don't like, um... Oh god. But I don't like Final Fantasy. And I like, uh... Mario RPG, but I don't like, um... But I don't like Final Fantasy. 
I also don't like Pokemon. I mean, I... I did when I was younger, but... It's just the same thing over and over again. Oh god, don't lock the screen. I can't fight these things. Ah, shit. Magic potions. Uh, you can't hurt them. Ugh. Uh, at least I got lots of room. Uh, these bunnies do cartwheel kicks at you. Like, another thing. It's like, the creatures in this are so, like, weirdly... Like, Uncanny Valley kind of... It's just creepy. Like, this bunny has, like, a rat face. It stands on two legs. It has no arms. It's yellow. And it has golden teeth. Or they might be bloody teeth. I can't tell. They're, they're creepy. That's why this is okay for Spooktoberfest. Because these creatures are creepy. And these old games have an eerie quality to them. Those slurpers, like, what the fuck? It was like a sack of potatoes with a vagina in it. Whoa. Oh, thank you. Come on, just take damage already. Stop blocking it. Yay! Shit, yeah. Can I save? Let's just do that. Oh shit, there's a save here. Slippery? Oh. Do I have to... Ow, fuck you! Ah, you wiener. I will smite thee! Well, I didn't expect him to fucking attack me. I thought maybe he'd have a riddle for me. You gotta go to the icy isle. You can pass me if you answer my questions three. Question the first. What is your favorite color? You know, that shit. Uh, well, at least he's not impossible. That would be, uh, that would be upsetting. Yay, he blew up! 500 gold! Craps almighty! Well, now I can go to the icy isle. Oh, I'm not... Oh, fuck off. In reality, like... If a slime existed, it would just be a big... Like, amoeba. Like, it wouldn't be particularly fast-moving, but... If it touched you, it would, like, melt you. Like, it would it would be acidic in that it's... Ah, shit. It's enzymes would attack you and try to eat you like your stomach acid. <laughs> you shouldn't have been a dick then. Okay, well, I think that's enough for today. Well, thank you everybody so much for joining me on this episode of Spooktoberfest! If you saw something you like, give me a like, and comment on your favorite parts. And subscribe to me if you want to see more videos like mine. Thank you for watching! Bye!